A comparison of second order integrator versus a second order differentiator is shown. Both of them ideal in the sense that the integrator really compute the double integral of Vn dt squared, and then the second order differentiator is really computing the uh, second order derivative of input with respect to time. Both of them realize with single operation here. Uh, we want to see how this is working. Um, to do that, let's just uh, do a quick uh, computation for a circuit like this. So I'm going to do it one time calculation for a simplified circuit, uh, in the for a generalized circuit, in the sense that uh, my circuit looks like this now. Imagine I have a circuit uh, for which I have impedance Z1 and uh, impedance Z1 again. And let's say I have uh, impedance uh, Z2 and uh, impedance Z2 in series with that, like this. So I'm going to do the, this analysis, which is applicable for both of them one time in a fast way. So in this case, as you can see, we have uh, now here, let's say I have Z2 uh, two over 2. And uh, here we have the Z1 over 2. Okay, and uh, finally we have our ideal op-amp in linear regional operation in negative feedback mode. So um, it looks like this. This is our ideal op-amp. Um, okay, so we, we should have the negative terminal connected to input and we should have the positive terminal connected to ground. That's negative feedback applicable here. And that's the output. So output of op amp goes to VL. Okay, so for this circuit, I want to uh, realize, for this circuit, I want to compute the uh, V out as a function of VN, and then I can apply to both circuit. I can do it in a quick way. Uh, assuming op amp is ideal, and op amp is properly biased, so the supply voltages, negative and positive supply voltages for op amp properly applied, so that this op amp is not saturated in linear region of operation, it's ideal op amp and it's negative feedback. Therefore, we can assume that um, it, the virtual short holds if the circuit is in linear mode of operation. So uh, let's make the assumption op amp is properly biased and therefore is in linear region, is in linear region of operation. Because of that, I can say virtual short is valid. And as a result, we can say uh, the voltage at the positive input terminal of op amp equal to the voltage at negative input of op amp. And you can see that the voltage at positive input terminal is zero, therefore negative input terminal has zero voltage as well. So I can write zero here. Now, <clears throat> the interesting observation here is if this node is X and the voltage of that node is Vx, then let's name this intermediate node as Y and therefore voltage of it Y. There is a very clear relationship between X and Y. So I'm going to write that. So um, let's write it here. Uh, in that case, I can say Vx uh, minus zero divided by Z1. So as you can see, if there is a current I going through Z1, there is no current that can go through the negative input terminal of op amp because it's ideal with infinite impedance. That same current should go through Z2. Using that, uh, basically I'm saying this current should be equal to the other one. Current through Z1, Z1 should be equal to current through Z2. Therefore, Vx over Z1. So I'm going to write it this way. Vx over uh, Z1. Vx minus 0 over Z1 should be equal to 0 minus Vy over Z2. So one important outcome out of this that I can get is, maybe I write it here, is this equation that um, V1, Vy, is simply uh, negative Z2 over Z1 times Vx. Let's keep this as equation number one. We're going to use this uh, later quickly. So that's one. And what else? So uh, let's also write a KCL at node Y here. So at node Y, let's write a KCL. So the current coming in, which is 0 minus Vy divided by Z2, should be equal to the current going to 
uh, ground and then the current go going toward V out. So I would say KCL at node Y give us this. Um, so Z, the current going this way, which you can say 0 minus V by divided by Z2, which is just uh, minus V by divided by Z2, is equal to V by divided by Z1 over 2, so 2 V by divided by Z1, and then V by minus V O divided by Z2, so V1 divided by Z2 minus V out divided by Z2. Obviously, by just reshuffling things around here, you get this outcome that V out, V out is simply, um, uh, let's say V out over Z2, doesn't matter. So just to keep it clean, V out over Z2 is simply, uh, as you can see, uh, this is not V1, this is V by. So V by, that I was writing, my bad. Okay, so is equal to um, v by, and then times, as you can see, it's going to be 2z2, 2 over z2, um, and then we have um, 2 over z1. That's what I can see here. So we have um, v over z2, and then we have v by over uh, 2 by over z2 plus 2 v 2 over z1. So we get this outcome here. Let's keep this as equation number. Let's keep this as equation number two. Okay. Uh, what else we have? Well, we can do the same thing for a KCL at node x. So a KCL at node x is simply this KCL. Very similar to this one. You would say to, to the one that I just wrote. So v in minus v x divided by z1. So v in divided by z1 minus vx divided by z1 is equal to vx divided by z2 over 2, so 2vx divided by z2, and then plus vx divided by z1. Okay, uh, simple reshuffling also give us this outcome, that vn over z1 is equal to Vx times 2 over z1, and then we get, um, so 2 over z1, and then we get, we get 2 over z2 as well. Okay, we are getting to the point that I wanted to get to. So this is uh, equation number three. So equation number three. Um, and then I'm going to use combination of equation 1, 2, 3 to simplify things very fast. So uh, that is 3. Now what I think, what, what I need to do is at the, as, as the last action, in um, equation uh, 2, I'm going to substitute for V by using uh, equation 1. So I'm going to rewrite that. Uh, so from 1 and uh, 2, we get... VO over Z2 is equal to, as you can see, I'm going to substitute for V by, uh, by writing from equation one, so minus Z2 over Z1, VX, that's what I substituted for V by, and then the rest of equation number two, that is two over Z2 plus two over Z1. Okay, so let's name this equation number four. We are almost done. So this is equation number four. And uh, what I need to do is a very simple operation, dividing equation number four by equation number three. That's it. So four. And so as a last action, I'm going to divide equation four. Let me just write it here. Um, okay. So dividing equation four by equation 3, left-hand side, left-hand side, right-hand side, right-hand side. So what, I, what I'm going to get is this one. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to get, okay, 
So I'm going to get V O over Z2 divided by V in over Z1. So V O over Z2 divided by V in over Z1 is equal to is equal to and the other side the nice thing is um, sorry my bad I was dividing um, wrong equation so I need to um, actually correct I need to divide equation number four by three so equation number four by three so the left side of equation four divided by left side of equation three v over z2 divided by v over z1 equal to now as you can see on the right side, we have 2 over z2 plus 2 over z1 for both of them in equation 3 and 4. So we cancel them out. And then what remains is negative z2 over z1 dx, negative z2 over z1 dx, divide by uh, vx. So obviously vx and vx cancel out, similar to the other component. So we cancel out. And as a result, what we get, which is the final outcome I wanted to get to, is this simple outcome, that in the circuit, the voltage gain, or V out over Vn, um, of course, in S domain, which is the impedance analysis we are doing, V out over Vn is simply uh, the result that is minus z2 over z1 squared. That's very interesting. Um, so that's the interesting result, which help us realize um, by proper selection of the z and z, z1 and z2, by proper selection of these two red, uh, impedances, we can realize either second order integrator or second order differentiator. For example, let's say if we set if we set z2 equal to, say, um, let's say r. So basically, if we set z2 in this circuit as a resistor, like the one that is shown here uh, for the circuit on the right-hand side, we have z2. See, this is z2. This is z1. So if I set z2 to a resistor r, and Z1 to a capacitor C, then Z2 is R, and uh, Z1 is 1 over Cs in S domain, and uh, in S domain analysis. And therefore, uh, by substituting them here, you get uh, v, o, v out over Vn is equal to Rcs squared negative, which means uh, ideal, you know, ideal differentiator. So this means uh, in time domain, V out as a function of time, is just simply negative RC uh, second order derivative of Vn with respect to time. That's the meaning of uh, this S domain transfer function or uh, volt voltage gain. And if, for example, in another realization, if you go with, say, Z, um, let me put it this way, if you put if you put z z2 if you put z2 equal to um, 1 over cs so what we are doing is c2 would be a capacitor like the circuit that you have on the left hand side we have tap cap for z2 and then for z1 we go rr resistor so for z1 i am going with uh, resistor r if that is the case then what we get is voltage gain V out over Vn is simply negative 1 over, um, sorry, the other one is R2, C2, S2. Uh, this one is R2, C2, S2. Uh, just, a quick, just a correction of a typo that I did. So the other one becomes minus 1 over R2, uh, C2, S2 which is an ideal integrator uh, with some gain, which is basically in time domain. Therefore, you have negative, um, so you have negative 1 over R2, C2, and then integral, integral, Vn, and then dt, of course, squared, dt, dt. So, um, 
what's happening here, you can see that what just simple selection of the proper value of the impedances in, in this sort of a general circuit, you can realize either the circuit on the right-hand side or the circuit on the left-hand side, which means on the right-hand side, the second-order ideal differentiator, on the left-hand side, the second-order ideal integrator, and realize with just single ideal outcome. I hope that uh, this is uh, helpful in terms of understanding how the circuit works and what is the uh, origin, what is the actual circuit behind it in which we selected the uh, value of caps and uh, value of impedances properly to get to the to get to these two circuits.